हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एम एम टी वाई क्यू प्रोग्राम ऑफ नेक्स्ट आयर्स इन दिस इनिशिएटिव एज यू ऑल नो वी आर कवरिंग सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मेन्स क्वेश्चन एवरी डे वी आर डिस्कसिंग वन क्वेश्चन आफ्टर सींग दिस डिस्कशन यू कैन राइट दैट क्वेश्चन एंड सबमिट इट एंड गेट अ फ्री इवेल्युएशन सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद अवर जर्नी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ जी एस थ्री Uh, if we see the importance of this particular portion then every year 50 marks come from this portion uh two 15 markers and two 10 markers are being asked from this portion uh, if we see the nature of the question they are very direct and they are directly like uh, asked from the syllabus uh, so if we cover our syllabus in a comprehensive manner and also practice the previous year questions then we can prepare the content in a very holistic manner so if we see the subject matter that what are the broad themes which are covered in agriculture so we can see that uh, cropping pattern lot of time cropping pattern is being asked crop diversification questions are there then uh, question on direct and indirect subsidies are there question on minimum support price is there irrigation is there then we can say uh, like uh, agricultural marketing it is a very uh, every year question are being asked food processing all these themes are the broad themes on which question are being asked every year okay so similarly uh, today's question also if we see that uh, one particular phrase is given in the syllabus e technology in aid of farmers okay and this direct this question has been directly asked from this part so if you see the question that is how does e technology help farmers in production and marketing okay it's a very simple and direct and straight forward question is there so if you have prepared syllabus in a very holistic manner then we will be able to answer this question okay so directly going into the question what is the question that how does e technology help farmers in production and marketing of agriculture produce now <coughs> before uh, seeing how particularly we will address the question i will tell you also the approach like uh, there is a paucity of time is there celeb, uh, space is also very less so we need to think about 30 40 second that how we will approach this answer this question okay so if we read there are certain directive words so always some directive words in questions are there so here uh, in this question two directive words are there how and explain okay so these actually tell that how we will actually proceed okay so it we need to explain that e technology how it will increase the production and marketing now some mistakes which students do and due to which uh, they get average marks uh, is that they will simply list out the technologies but they will not exactly tell that how actually these will technologies will lead to increase in production or how will it make the marketing more efficient okay so we need to keep this thing in our mind so going directly into the question we know that uh, introduction body and conclusion these are the three basically uh, parts in which uh, we divide our answer so how we will introduce this particular question so there can be two approaches one is one is a very general approach so here what we can do is simply we can tell that e technology like now different kind of technologies are there like web portals are there mobile apps are there sms is there broadcasting is there okay simply you tell that e technologies like this can increase the productivity uh, which will lead to increase in production uh, and increase reduce the vulnerabilities of agriculture especially in the context of climate change so this can be your general approach uh, there can be other approach in which we can be very specific so what you can do here is that simply start with some uh, recent initiative of government like 
there has been a uh, adoption of agri stack by the government so agri stack is basically the collection of technologies and databases of the farmers okay so what will actually this will do is that uh, it will help government both central government as well as state governments to uh, make the policy in an effective manner and also implement those policy in a more efficient manner okay so these are the two broad approaches you can adopt any one of them now this is your uh, introduction now coming to your body part so we have been asked production and marketing okay so we can divide our body in two ways in first part will we will address this production thing and in next part we'll address the marketing thing okay so coming to production okay now think about the problems or the uh, basically problems which are prevalent in indian agriculture so low productivity is there okay less efficiency is there low income of farmer is there so these are the some problems so e technology will actually help in dealing with these problems okay so that will be a broader approach of answering this question going directly uh, like what can be the specific point that we can write uh, that we generally have lack of access of inputs farmer face lack of access of inputs now what kind of inputs we are talking here one is a uh, like technology okay so if we adopt technology recent technologies uh, more modern technologies then definitely it will lead to more production so uh, here first you can put this as an example and then specific uh, e uh, technology which has been adopted by the government so one particular technology is there uh, Mats Setu app is there now this app basically gives information uh, to the farmers basically fisher folks who are generally very small and marginal okay so they have very primitive kind of technologies uh, they are using it so this particular app is giving more recent technologies in aquaculture so if they adopt these technologies then what will happen that the production will increase also keep in mind that in agriculture generally we focus more on food grains but agriculture is very holistic in nature okay so their livestock animal husbandry uh, fisheries all these things are also part of the agriculture okay so try to give example of these also okay uh, other kind of inputs we have like extension services so extension services are basically the uh, in different kind of information like pricing of crops uh, weather forecasting and all kind of these of informations are required by the farmers to make their agriculture more efficient okay for this uh, you can quote some uh, technology like uh, uh, you have m kisan portal is there okay so this portal basically gives through sms and all uh, in vernacular languages it give information to the farmers which will help them to uh, grow crops in a more efficient manner okay so this is your first basically becomes it becomes your first point then what can be the other uh, things which we write here so crop monitoring weather forecasting okay so technologies like remote sensing okay geoinformatics 
these can be used by the farmers to make their agriculture more efficient so uh, <clears throat> in weather forecasting like weather forecasting uh, different kind of like there is a scheme pm fasal bima yojana is there okay so if crop is damaged due to some extreme weather events or some pest or disease then uh, traditional way of assessment of these loss actually take lot of time but if we use these technologies then it will make the claim settlement process more efficient and less time taking okay so that this will actually help farmers okay then our third point can be access to government services okay so here we can give example of pm kisan in pm kisan government is being uh, is giving 6000 rupees to every farmer so there is a income support scheme which will help farmers to buy inputs or any other kind of things to do investment on their fields which will ultimately lead to production then going forward uh, it can help the e technologies can help to solve the issues of credit okay credit means money so they will be getting uh, institutionalized sources from, uh, they will be getting the money from the institutionalized sources that will reduce their cost of production and will increase their income okay digitization process in this uh, has been very uh, has been taken by the government in very large scale like jandan yojana is there then you can say uh, kisan credit card is there okay so these are the major points which you can write in the production thing okay now coming to the second part of the question that is related with marketing okay so here then again we have to focus on the problems and issues which are faced by the farmers in the traditional method of marketing okay so traditional method of marketing is done by the apmcs agriculture produce marketing committees okay so these are the local mandis or the markets where farmers go and uh, sell their crops but there are certain issues like there are numerous intermediaries are there okay and uh, the price discovery uh, process in these mandis is, mandis is very inefficient and uh, opaque also okay so here we can adopt e technology so government has introduced electronic enam okay electronic national agriculture market now enam is basically uh, that has been uh, has actually digitized the process the physical process which was happening in apmcs so they are getting wider access to market price discovery process has been has become more transparent in nature which will ultimately lead to the greater income to the farmers okay so that is our first point in marketing okay the second point can be supply chain management the digitization of supply chain will actually enhance the efficiency of it okay so it will increase the income of the farmer and also reduce the final price paid by the customers so here an example of e chopal can be given basically this is a initiative of itc itc is a private company and uh, it has been very successful in making the supply chain efficient okay so one our next point can be uh, a <clears throat> price deficiency payment okay our next point can be price deficiency payment now uh, this is actually part of a bigger scheme pm asha so uh, as we know there is a mechanism of minimum support prices by the government of india 
बट प्रोक्योरमेंट इन दैट बेसिकली एम एस पी मैकेजम इज वेरी लिमिटेड एंड स्पेशली लिमिटेड टू वीट एंड राइस बट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी टी डी एस एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ डूइंग दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी हाई सो ऑल्टरनेटिव अप्रोच हैज बीन अडोप्टेड इन विच फार्मर्स कैन गो एंड सेल देयर क्रॉप्स और वट एवर एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस इज देयर इन द ओपन मार्केट एंड इफ दे आर गेटिंग लेस प्राइस फॉर देयर क्रॉप्स और द एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस देन गवर्नमेंट विल कॉम्पनसेट फॉर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एम एस पी एंड द प्राइस विच आर दे आर गेटिंग बाई दिस प्राइस डिफिशेंसी पेमेंट नाउ दैट दैट विल नॉट बी एक्चुअली पॉसिबल इफ वी डू नॉट हैव ए डिजिटाइज मैथड ओके एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वॉज फर्स्ट अडॉप्टेड इन मध्य प्रदेश दिस स्कीम भावंतर भुगतान योजना इज देयर नाउ दिस हैज बीन अडॉप्टेड एट द नेशनल लेवल ऑल्सो ओके अवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट कैन बी देर इज अ पर्टिकुलर पोर्टल इज देयर बाई द गवर्नमेंट एग मार्कनेट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्टल प्रोवाइड्स लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट काइंड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज अवेलेबल वॉट आर द डिफरेंट प्राइसिस ऑफ द क्रॉप विच आर विच फार्मर्स विल गेट इफ दे गो टू सेल देयर क्रॉप्स ओके सो इशूज रिलेटेड टू लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस और लो अवेयरनेस इज बींग सॉल्व थ्रू दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्टल ओके वन मोर पॉइंट कैन बी रिटर्न हियर इज रिलेटेड टू ई कॉमर्स ई कॉमर्स कंपनीज लाइक बिग बास्केट और कंट्री डिलाइट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज नाउ आर कमिंग अप स्टार्टअप्स आर कमिंग अप एंड दे आर डायरेक्टली बाइंग फ्रॉम द फार्मर्स ओके विच इज लीडिंग टू ग्रेटर इनकम एंड मेकिंग द मार्केटिंग मोर इफिशियंट इन नेचर ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड फाइव पॉइंट दैट विल बी सफिशियंट ओके वी हैव कवर्ड फोर पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड वी हैव कवर्ड फाइव पॉइंट्स इन द सेकेंड पार्ट दिस इज अ टेन मार्कर सो दैट विल बी सफिशियंट टू गेट अ डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मार्क्स नाउ वॉट कैन बी अवर कंक्लूजन सो कंक्लूजन कैन बी इट नीड इट नीड टू बी मोर फ्यूचरिस्टिक एज वेल एज सजेस्टिव इन नेचर सो वॉट वी कैन से दैट अडोप्शन ऑफ ई टेक्नोलॉजीज बाई फार्मर्स बाई प्राइवेट कंपनीज एंड गवर्नमेंट ओके यू कैन इन्वॉल्व ऑल थ्री स्टेक होल्डर्स इफ दे अडॉप्ट ई टेक्नोलॉजीज वट सो दैट विल मेक इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर मोर इफिशियंट इन नेचर more sustainable in nature because natural resources like land water all these things will be utilized in a more efficient manner okay so overall this will make the agriculture a driver of economic growth in india okay so that can be a very uh, simple conclusion which you can write here uh, so that is the all thing which we need to cover in this particular question if you have liked this video uh, press the like button share it with your friends uh, in the upcoming sessions we will be covering the three remaining questions of agriculture thank you